Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to set up your Midland HH54VP2 weather radio. The first thing you will need to do is insert the rechargeable battery pack or insert the jack insert the DC jack. Now this can be either used to plug into the radio. No, it will not charge the battery or plug into the dock for charging the battery. For video purposes, we will plug it into the radio itself. Alright, let's get this bad boy in all the way. So, alright, first thing you get is this. Now, what you can first now then first let's get you familiar with the buttons. This is obviously the directional pad. Then you select your travel mode and home mode. We'll explain that later. Volume buttons, your WX and snooze button, and your power. Alright, first thing I want to discuss with the power. When you when you hold to turn it off, it doesn't it doesn't literally turn the radio off. The only thing it does, it shuts off the weather radio function and leaves the clock running. When you go to turn it back on, it'll turn the actual radio on. Note that when you turn the ra radio part off, all the buttons are disabled until you turn it back on. Now then, let's go into this setup. Now this radio sets up similar to the WR100, so some of this may seem familiar. So you're going to want to hit menu, hit select for time. It is currently 8.45, so we'll set it. We'll set for 8.46, you want to hit select. Alarm, sets up the same way. So you want to hit. Even if it's selected to off, you can still set the time. To get out of the setting, you must hit menu. Now then, channel. I will now. Yeah, I'll explain the travel and the travel and the home button when we're done with setup. Like I said, I'll go over the buttons as soon as we. Go over the full functionality of the buttons as soon as we're done and set up. Now then, same set. If you try to go into this while you're in travel mode, it will not work for a reason. It will default it to any. And it stays like that until you go back into home mode. Now if you want to set an SAME code, you would go to single, hit select. Now this radio can store up only to nine same codes. Hit one, select, and then just pretty much type it in from there. But I'm gonna have it on any. Alert type, voice, and you can skip right through this part. Part if you already know what voice display and tone do. Voice will sound the alarm for eight seconds, then it will go to the normal weather radio broadcast. Tone sounds the alarm for five minutes or until you silence it by pressing the weather button. Display, it'll just show up, it'll just display what alert it is and light up the LED. The recommended setting is voice. Alert test, now I'm not going to sound it just because of the time it is right now, but it does sound like, but all the alarm is is what you hear on the WR on the Midland radios WR 100 and 300 the light there's only a normal which turns it off after five seconds or on recommended sending is normal and then that's it now then we're gonna go over the travel slash home button now then, say you're, you use this as your primary weather radio, which is highly not recommended. Uh, if you're going to have a weather radio for home use as a primary, I recommend getting a desktop, uh, one that's primary used for desktop, like one for your desk. I would not use a portable as a main, just because it doesn't have a telescoping antenna, so it's not going to get that good of a reception. But anyways, so yeah, home mode... Um, it, it will stay on the set, on the channel you preset it to, but if you 
hold in the button. This is what puts it into a travel mode. And what travel does is that, well, the manual says when it loses signal of the channel, it will find a new station on its own. However, I have not had this happen yet. Maybe it will, but I don't know. But for right, but for right now, what I do is that if I find out that it's lost signal, when you're in travel mode and you just tap the button, it will automate. It will search for a channel. It will search for the closest one and not the strongest. If you hit it again, it will search right for the next one. You can also use the scan mode while in the weather radio while it's on. Give it a second. Now, I believe you still have the ability to... Yeah. Yeah, you still have the ability to change the channel manually if you think, in your opinion, that it's falsely chose the right channel. See, it hasn't done it automatically, so you have... Oh, no, it does. Never mind. You just gotta give it a few seconds, but... Okay, never mind. It does do it on its own. You just gotta give it, like, 15 seconds. Um, I already discussed the power button, how it doesn't shut the radio off all the way, it just goes right to the clock. Well, that's it for the, how to set up your Midland HH54VP2 weather radio. If you have any questions or concerns or problems, or if I missed anything, please tell me. I will see you guys later.